What's going on there guys? Earthmaster here jumping in on this Saturday afternoon close to evening January 23rd 2021 about 4 15 p.m. West Coast time and got a pretty large 7.0 earthquake striking out here in between the Antar Antarctica area and the tip of the South America region you can see that 7.0 right roughly right between the two uh, potentially a little bit closer to the Antarctica region than South America but nonetheless pretty good size earthquake strike it out there in that region checking out the uh, latest map here from the USGS also shows that circle red circle there indicating the larger earthquake that uh, I just pointed out uh, the South Sh uh, Sheetland Islands about 7.8 miles down below the surface there in this area of the plate boundary go ahead and check out the dynamics of it there is a tsunami statement but I doubt if there's going to be any type of uh, issue uh, let's see exactly what these folks are saying Ooh, originally this looks like it was a 7.3 um, on the scales let's see non US okay so yeah based on all available data there is no tsunami threat to the Caribbean coast from this earthquake and I'm sure roughly the uh, same will be said for the uh, rest of the uh, locations here. But we'll go ahead and double check this one here. There's no tsunami threat at all. So that is good news there from that 7.0. I'm um, going to check out the... Uh, let's see here. Check out the buoy stations real quick down there. See if anything's shaking and rattling. Of course, I don't even know if they have any issue down there. Not in this area, it doesn't look like. Um, wow. Okay. So yeah, there's not a whole bunch. Uh, not a whole bunch of stations there to monitor any type of activity there in that specific region of the world. At least according to the National Data uh, Buoy Center here on this map from NOAA. Anyway, once again, 7.0 earthquake out here. Uh, looking at past historical seismic activity. Well, pretty active. It's in kind of kind of in that plate area. There's much more activity over here towards the east, northeast of that 7.0 in the Atlantic. Uh, but definitely right around that region has seen some uh, some earthquake activity and looks like potentially some sig significant ones as well. Right around where that 7.0 just struck there. So. Anyway, folks, um, hope everyone's having a great day out there. That thing will be rocking and rolling uh, throughout the live seismograph stations, I'm sure. Uh, it's already being picked up on a couple other uh, stations that I have pulled up. I happen to see the uh, P waves traveling through the earth there and uh, making its presence known on the uh, seismograph station. So uh, this will take a little while to get to other stations um, on here, uh, depending on distance. But no doubt, it will definitely show up. Uh, the station here, the station right here called Barrett Spur, that's station monitoring Mount Hood activity, kind of picking up that waviness, that long drawn out line of that 7.0 earthquake there. And of course other stations uh, should be following depending on the uh, sensitivity of the equipment that's hooked up to the network there. So, all right guys, have a great day. We'll be back a little bit later with a complete update video. Just wanted to point out now that 7.0 earthquake out there. Uh, right around the uh, Sheetland Islands, between uh, Antarctica tip there and South America. Have a good day.